Hello, this is the Microgen Stirling Power Cell. It's a Stirling engine, it's a Beale oscillator, and I'm intending to fit it into my skiff called Stirling First. It's powered from an LPG cylinder, which is rather good news compared to uh, propane. The day LPG cylinder costs £6 to re refill, and the equivalent propane one from Mr. Caller costs about £22. The heat from the LPG burner powers the Stirling engine, and the Stirling engine produces alternating current, which is what the Victron sorts out and turns into direct current, DC. And the battery, the lithium ion battery, does multiple things. So it provides uh, the voltage to start the engine control unit for the Stirling power cell, the ECU, and also to energize the Victron. Um, but it can do other things which are rather useful, which is overcome the short term problem of all Stirling engines, which is that they take time to heat up and get to full power. So you can draw current from the Stirling engine whilst it's building up power, but also top it up from the lithium battery um, until full power is reached, which takes about six or seven minutes. So that 48 volts of DC go out to an e-propulsion Evo Spirit, well, the name goes on, but it's a 48 volt outboard electric motor. The lithium ion battery also comes in useful when you want to throttle down um, because you can turn the burner down. There's a helm control to go to half power and quarter power and all this, <coughs> but it takes time for the Stirling engine to cool down and stop producing more electricity than you want. So that can go into charging this lithium battery. So I'm calling this the Stirling electric boat as opposed to a battery electric boat. We're used in the UK to um, diesel electric trains. The diesel engine produces electricity and there are motors on the axles for the wheels. And here we are uh, as a Stirling electric. The Stirling engine produces electricity to turn the propeller with an electric Evo motor because this is um, a serial hybrid and quite a long remove from the traditional electric battery boat, battery electric boat in the UK which is only good for the charge of the battery. Um, most electric, battery electric boats in the UK are only good for a day. Uh, you charge them up overnight, you go out for the day, and you've got to come back because you've got to recharge again at night, and there are no charge points along the river. I'm calculating that the LPG tank will run for three days. Uh, before you need to replace it with another six pound refill from a garage. So that's the theory of what's going to get installed. At the moment it's in my workshop, my garage, and I'll now uh, move on to a video of it being started. This is Microgen's Stirling Power Cell, and uh, it's engine number 18,445. The burner has just been lit, so I will quickly move to the data viewer which will provide detail of what's happening inside the engine. Hopefully you'll be able to see this if the focus gets correct. And the second figure on the left hand side, the green column, the second figure going down is the temperature of the hot cap, the head. It's now 117 and it's rising because the burner's lit and when it gets up to about 180, uh, the electronics will jog the uh, Beale oscillator, the free piston engine, into activity and the engine will start. So it's 160 odd now. I've got screen clips of this at the end of the video. So there we go, the engine has just started and you can hear a buzz. And I will now zoom in to something rather special because I have got two 50p coins sat here on the engine frame and uh, we've just gone through the start procedure and these are rather tall thin coins balanced on edge and the vibration well you know there they are sat very happy. So this is a very proven engine with 18,000 
of them. And I will go back now to the data screen and I will change, sorry about this but the camera is going to go all over the place while I go to the chart. There we go. And maybe I can avoid the reflections to zoom a little more. The white line is the temperature of the head, the hot cap. And the blue line is how many watts are being generated. And you can see it's been climbing rapidly. And of course this is the point where the trick of having a small capacity lithium ion battery is rather important because you can draw as much current as you like to set the throttle and the helm control to maximum and away you go in the boat uh, because the uh, battery will supplement the electricity, the wattage being created by the Stirling engine. And it takes about six or seven minutes for the Stirling engine, like all Stirling engines, to get up to full power. So this business of having a small capacity lithium ion battery to bridge the gap between what the helmsman wants and what the engine is doing is a very good answer to one of the basic issues around Stirling engines. And of course it's there on the opposite when you want to throttle down and it's making electricity and what do we do with it? Well we charge it to the uh, the battery. So the blue graph, blue line on the graph is now taking a different angle and will slowly climb up to a thousand watts um, but that will take another four or five minutes and as I said I've got screen clips at the end of this video. So I'll now just go back to the the coins. There they are. The engine is at maximum and the coins are very very nicely balanced on edge. So a proven engine, a quiet engine, very quiet, very reliable, very clean and what more do you want for a small boat?